Hello and welcome to yet another overview because I still got nothing new to review so today let's talk about selecting player in uh, range from about $700 up to $1300 or so. It's like a range that appeared pretty naturally because a lot of models were released in this uh, tire. Of course, I don't have every single model that is uh, fitting into this price range. I don't have Sony dubs, unfortunately, and Covens either. Uh, also, I don't have with me Opus number no. 2 that is fitting this price range. But I dig my uh, shelves and I found a few models worth mentioning in this segment. It's more like a brief overview, so I can be wrong with some figures, uh, but anyway, if you need detailed reviews, uh, so just uh, uh, search my channel or just search YouTube, I did review for all these models. So this one is kind of short and formal uh, overview to introduce few models and highlight my opinion about them. So probably let's start in the price ascending order, more or less, and uh, actually we'll start with uh, FIO M11 Pro. M11 Pro is updated version of basically M11. M11 price is about $430 and this one goes for 650 or so. It's uh, pretty powerful for the Android device, for, for the Android Dubs uh, device. It uses Samsung Exynos 7872, if I remember right, the index of this chipset has 3 GB of RAM, so pretty fast uh, player. Here used AK 4497, two of them as digital tonal converters and THX amplification. Also, it has a pretty big screen, uh, nice intuitive UI made by Fio, so uh, quick charge, three outputs, single-ended and both balanced outputs. Of course, it has Bluetooth, actually it's almost uh, like a must-have feature with all modern codecs, including LDAC and other stuff. It supports installing uh, installation of third-party apps, so your favorite streaming media and other stuff like that can be installed here. Work time is about uh, 9 hours from balanced output and about 11 hours from single-ended, but it depends on load, so it's just uh, rough figures. In terms of sound, it's uh, pretty natural on the resolving side, but with uh, added weight and with added impact. And uh, next one, actually, it's Ibasso DX200. I don't have the regular DX200, but instead I've got uh, Titanium Limited Edition. So, Limited Edition is already sold out, so let's pretend it's, it's representing the regular Ibasso. It's, it has almost the same design, just a bit uh, different colors, and uh, it's built using rock chip chipset uh, and uh, not the fastest dub but uh, you know for me speed is uh, pretty acceptable for the android device don't try to like to use it to download torrents for example or for some heavy duty tasks but uh, with uh, playing music it really managed uh, it really cope with that successfully. Also, there is a Lurkers firmware for iBasso players, improving performance and sonic features and other stuff like that. And what is interesting about iBasso dubs, it features replaceable amp amplification models. iBasso created plenty of them, more than 10 pieces uh, different and uh, featuring uh, Pre few pretty unusual models like Amp7 and Amp9 with, uh, sorry, Amp7 and Amp8 with uh, discrete amplification and even Amp9 with uh, Korg new tubes amplification. So, uh, DX200 is discontinued, but it's sold somewhere. It was its price was eight hundred fifty dollars, but you can get it for I don't know for about six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars depending on the condition and 
you can invest to some third party amplifier module and you can get a pretty major sound especially if you are okay with not the fastest uh, firmware it's not that slow but um, also not that fast it's a bit outdated in terms of design but uh, besides that it's uh, really powerful of course it also has wi-fi bluetooth android you can install streaming media Actually, Fio has Android 7, this one has Android 8.1, so a bit newer version. You can use it as digital tonal converter, actually you can all of them use in this uh, role. Uh, output, depending on the amp model you will be using with it, and sound also changes. In uh, this stock amplifier, DX200 is focused on the micro contrast, it's really natural, monitoring, detailed, a bit dry and it's uh, pretty critical for the quality of records so if you you need to have a good uh, well well recorded media library and uh, probably uh, you'll have to find some good remasters for some of your files and for your for part of your media library Next one is a bit unusual, and as a digital tonal converter, if I remember right, here used ES9028 or something like that, so it's Sabre chipset here used. Next one, a bit unusual in this line, it's uh, Astellan Kern SR15 Norma. Recently they released an updated version SR25, it's really interesting, but actually it's uh, bigger than SR15, so it's the smallest dub in this uh, collection, uh, in this uh, lineup. Its price is regular, regular price is $700, actually forgot to mention battery life here, it's about uh, 6 to 8 hours, well my cat wants something, not sure what he wants, what does he want, but anyway. so from seven to nine hours depending on the amplification and power and let's go back so it's small it's really stylish it's it's ibasso anyway i like this tilted screen design it feels really natural in hand you, you just grab it and it looks really nice i like this design i basically keep it because of the design so it's typical Ibasso, but uh, also it's uh, pretty good in terms of sound and firmware and features. So, in terms of firmware it's typical Ibasso with uh, Android OS, but actually uh, no one no knows what the version used here, but maybe someone knows, but it's not important, not that important, because uh, you don't have access to the launcher, just uh, some customized shell tuned for music playback everything works pretty smoothly all the lot of features and a lot of controls you can install third party services but only whitelisted ones and you'll have to sideload apks but anyway streaming media clients you can install as usual it can be used as a digital tonal converter there is bluetooth wi-fi but bluetooth supports only aptx uh, hd codec if i remember right so no more recent codecs but if i remember right also it sr25 has better codecs work time is about seven eight hours output power is uh, two volts rms from single-ended output and four volt rms from balanced uh, digital tonal converter is uh, CS43134 or something like that, recent uh, chip made by Sarius Logic. Pretty lot of good dubs were built recently with this uh, chip. And uh, in terms of the sound, it's not the most super, uh, super resolving or super technical in this lineup. It's a bit lacking uh, definition on the deepest low frequencies and on the highest uh, treble. But anyway, it's Astellan Kern and it's uh, mainly all about the signature coloration by Astellan Kern. Featuring uh, the, their liquid meads, really enjoyable and with good pairing, with good in ear monitors selected for this player. It's really, uh, you know, it's one of the best examples of uh, fun and engaging representation. So, next one, next one probably in price ascending order is 
I bust with the X220, sorry, I can't uh, switch it on because it uh, drained battery while I wasn't used it for, quite, for a few months recently, so I'll have to charge it. Basically, it's a kind of upgraded version of DX200, uh, but uh, that upgrade was huge. They changed a lot of uh, things inside, so it uses uh, 9038 digital tonal converter and actually desktop version of the chip, if I remember right. It uses XMOS as USB interface and you, with Lurker's firmware you can actually send the digital signal directly to that XMOS to bypass additional resamplers and so on. And uh, what is also uh, go good here is design. So it's small, it's pretty lightweight comparing with uh, some other jobs, but it has a really good big screen, almost uh, uh, Edgeless, each to, almost each to each, and it has 1080p resolution screen, so it looks really bright, stylish. Sorry, I can't turn it on and show, but you just can find its review on my channel and probably can see it yourself. Same Android 8.1 here, also Lurker's firmware is available with a lot of additional features. Work time is about the same, they didn't uh, make huge improvements here, but it supports quick charge, uh, so it's uh, easy to charge it now. So from 7 to 9 hours, depending on the amplification, and also it supports swappable amplifiers, so uh, I need probably... Uh, I have to create a separate video about Ibasso dubs uh, and I'm more m not m m focused mainly not on dubs but on the amplification models. And uh, uh, with stock amplifier it's a bit less focused on the micro contrast but it's still resolving, still natural, natural, pretty technical dub with uh, a slight accent on the micro contrast but less than DX200 and with a bit more weight so it's kind of technical representation but a bit more weighty so it's sounding more natural but with amp 7 and amp 8 you can get more analog sound uh, if you like this representation more coherent more more weighty and with amp 9 you can get even warmer tubey sound with a bit of uh, highlighted odd harmonics and uh, uh, with added uh, tube warmness and sound coloration. Really good technical dub and uh, thanks to its uh, lower price, uh, it's just $900, so it's, you know, it's a bit uh, making it stand out from other two competitors that I will mention uh, later. Also there is uh, the bit opus number two, it's a bit outdated in terms of features and uh, probably Korean company need to update it, uh, but now it can be uh, purchased for example from the mass drop or the drop is it called now and uh, it has a pretty good competitive price, it's below $1000 right now and it offers a really good uh, emotional sound with a really tight low uh, bass but pretty technical on mids and uh, comfortable but not uh, uh, recessed treble but uh, its main issue is a relatively weak amplifier so it's mainly created for the in-ear monitors so but anyway still inter an interesting model and the next step uh, bring us to 1300 dollars uh, range so first model it's kn n6 mark ii with first version of n6 kn really surprised audiophile community because they uh, offered really really good and uh, major sound with price about and price was about seven hundred dollars if I remember right more or less but for N6 II they decided to make swappable audio models and actually they raised the price it now goes for one thousand three hundred dollars in terms of internals, it's uh, pretty close to the high B dubs uh, using same Snapdragon 425, if I remember right, chipset. And uh, 
it's uh, using it has pretty big battery so offers nice work time but it depends on the audio models used so from eight hours up to 12 and sometimes even less or even more but uh, good screen but of course far from being uh, each to each and player itself is pretty big so it's one of the biggest dubs here as you can see it's pretty sick its sickness is even bigger than m11 in case but still it's really solid nicely built device of all hardware buttons are present uh, uh, volume knob also it used to turn it on and off uh, but uh, and actually another neat feature it's the only dub that features i2s output for the direct output of digital signal also it has usb-c bluetooth different codecs uh, android installation of third party streaming media blah 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 so in terms of features it's almost parity here and uh, sound uh, really depends on this uh, uh, amp model because here you can change not only amplification but also digital to analog converter there are four models available now i have two of them stock a01 and t01 you can actually order it with uh, t01 if you like or with any other model there are two other models using uh, saber chipset i don't have them unfortunately and uh, T01 based on the Texas Instruments, A01 based on Asahi Kasei chips, so, uh, and all are pretty powerful, so it has uh, tons of raw power, Pentacon is used for balanced output and uh, regular 3.1, also there is line out, uh, but in uh, Saber models, if I remember right, they have different set of outputs. And in terms of the sound, it's Kane's signature presentation, it's emotional, it's uh, highlighting emotions, and you know, it's kind of uh, focused on the raw power, on the raw engaging, and it's for those who like, you know, drive, for those who like uh, accents, not for those who like absolutely natural monitoring sound, you know, it's kind of antipod to the... Uh, Ibasso DX200, it's a matter of preferences, kind of, you know, it's like this one is classical pianist and this one is a keyboardist on the rock concert so both playing keyboards but totally different focus in general interesting device bit big uh, but for those who like the idea of swappable uh, uh, audio models it's a really nice uh, solid offer and besides that offers good firmware and all other stuff because firmware here is created by Hybe offering all the signature features and another model worth mentioning i don't have it uh, i did a review but it was a lone unit it's uh, recently released aston kern sa700 it's the uh, successor uh, uh, of the ak120 model and it's uh, uh, I actually don't remember what uh, digital tonal converter used there, if I remember right, Cyrus Logic, but I'm not sure there. And in terms of design, you can see it on my channel, so it's like strict and regular design, similar to AK120. And in terms of sound, it's a bit unusual model, it's really, really focused on the mids with the signature Aston Kern mids coloration, it's like, you know, it's normal on steroids with uh, really highlighted super uh, uh, engaging mid frequencies so it's good for those who like mid-centric music like vocal classical music and so on and so forth so just worth mentioning here and last but not least of course it's uh, fio m15 great uh, attempt by fio to offer the most advanced features they managed to pack uh, in this dub everything, starting with two AK4499 as digital tonal converters, the most advanced Asahi Kasei chips, and ending with separate chip for the Bluetooth, it's uh, by Qualcomm, what is the, its name, CSR8760. 56 or something like that so 
I mentioned it many times, but don't remember now. And XMOS for USB interface, and it features the direct mode. So if you activate the digital analog converter mode, it's XMOS chip connected directly to USB, and then it's connected directly to the digital analog converter and amplification here. And uh, uh, same applies for the Bluetooth, you activate it and it just connects the wireless chip directly to the audio stage, so uh, CPU is bypassed here. In terms of CPU, here used also a Samsung Exynos, Exynos, Samsung chipset Exynos here, not Snapdragon, Snapdragon is here. You know, it's really too easy to make mistakes here has 3 gigabytes of uh, RAM uh, uh, and uh, works pretty smoothly, pretty fluidly. Nice big screen, not uh, each to each, but uh, still pretty good and looks really attractive with these curved screens and actually design is pretty nice. Reminds a bit uh, some ideas of Sony, but anyway, so all three outputs, single-ended and two balanced. Uh, analog volume knob that uh, uses hybrid uh, analog uh, uh, volume regulation, I described it many times. Same Android 7 as an operation system here, so all Bluetooth codecs, Wi-Fi, streaming media, all of them support that, so on, so forth, so let's cut that, blah, blah, blah. In terms of sound, it's uh, technical and it's... Uh, resolving but it makes a bit of it's uh, adding a bit of weight and it's a dub for those who like um, you know more punch more body more weight everywhere so it's it has a bit unusual but uh, engaging signatures and uh, it also has uh, tons of driving power it has special headphones mode that is capable of outputting up to 800 milliwatts for 32 ohms load for balanced output. So it can drive, drive virtually everything from sensitive in-ear monitors and up to, I don't know, uh, full-size cans, even planars, maybe with few exceptions, but anyway. And also it has a ton of different features. So. And work time is about 9 hours from balanced output and up to from 12 and up hours from single-ended output. So that's the dubs I wanted to mention and a bit subjective part here, so like which one you need to choose. So basically you know it's just my subjective opinion, I need to highlight that many times because that's what I usually avoid to do because you know I think that subjective opinion isn't uh, the thing worth sharing but anyway as some people are asking I need to probably highlight um, my opinion here so if you want some like you know if you don't want to be audiophile like uh, listening to the tiniest nuances and so on if you need engaging sound and if you need small size and uh, good UI and UX uh, Aston Kern is the uh, best choice for you It's not the most uh, feature-packed not the most technical in terms of sound But you know, it's a small engaging device for for those who who want to spend some money on the good uh, quality music, but don't want to be uh, like audiophile if you need maximum resolution and uh, at the same time natural sound, then your choice is iBasso. If you want, uh, if you like engaging emotional representation, mainly it's like for rock music or something like that. If you need to highlight music for you, of course, your cho choice is Kane. And if you limit it to his budget, probably M11 Pro is your. Uh, best friend, it's really solid and feature packed. Of course, these two dubs actually they also worth mentioning. For example, if you want to, uh, if you get it somewhere second hand for a good price, it's a great offer. You can invest some additional money to getting an amplification model and it will give you nice advanced sound. And of course, M15 is also really good uh, and uh, it's uh, also pretty capable, but just, you know, uh, I can't just name every single dub, but I like M15 too, I use it more often, but uh, actually, you know, in Fios lineup, uh, if you need uh, 
like better price uh, quality ratio is the m11 pro is better but this one is for those who like absolutely best sound among all field dubs and who need all that features so uh, if i have to keep like you know only one model actually i probably i'd probably go for norma because i just like this tilted design i really hope that quarantine will be over soon and i'll get sr25 for review at least as a loan but i'm afraid that i'll have to buy it and keep it thank you for listening and have a nice day